post sad channel. Long time no see, not because I'm not sad, but because I am too sad to film. I don't really know. Um, but today I wanted to talk about the near-death car accident that I had yesterday and why I am in such a limbo state currently because I feel like I'm so ungrateful for everything that I have and yet I don't I don't know um so what happened was I was driving from the Bay Area where I live to school in Santa Barbara and we were about 26 minutes away from school when I rolled down my window and I tried to get a moth out my door I ended up drifting into the partition so lanes on the highway right um, I was moving in this direction and I was in the left lane so the only thing next to me was this like grassy area um, and then and then two lanes in the opposite direction and then another grassy embankment and then on my right was the ocean so yeah um, I drifted into that side embankment thing the guy in my passenger seat yanked my um, wheel and like I freaked out yanked the other way and I have a video showing my tire marks here and we ended up spinning like losing traction um, in that middle part narrowly missing a pole in the middle and then we shot across the two opposite lanes and then hit the embankment and stopped um, and so no one died everyone had their seatbelts on they were all very chill somehow and um, I don't know why I didn't die yesterday um, this girl had a carton of eggs and none of them were fucking broken so yeah n nothing was hurt at all I didn't even have to get my tires changed like another stroke of luck just hit me and yeah um, but I don't know, I didn't really freak out then, and maybe I'm still in shock, but I don't think my body's really the kind to, like, go through shock and, like, not deal with it immediately, you know? Um, so, I nearly died, and I know I'm glad that everyone in my car was okay, because, um, I don't want to hurt anyone else when I go. But I'm still so fucking sad. And that sounds like such a snotty, stupid suburban girl thing to say, but it is true. Um, I've been off my meds for like a week just because I hate them and they don't work. And apart from that, nothing is really different. Um, I just don't know why that experience hasn't shocked me into becoming a person that is grateful for life and I'm not saying that I want another near-death experience to like shock me into enjoying things but that'd be kind of cool you know like hey I almost died now I woke up with this like brand new outlook on life but it just didn't fucking happen I'm still the same sad old bitch and that is so goddamn stressful what the heck? <laughs> is like nearly dying not enough for my brain to like function properly? Like that's all I ever wanted for my brain to be normal. Um, so I guess all I wanted to say is I'm extremely ungrateful. That's it. I can't explain well what I feel right now. But I still wish I were dead, and I don't know, I should have died yesterday, but I fucking didn't, which is, like, nice. And, like, there were so many times we could have died in that accident. Um, if we had wrapped around that pole I was speaking of, going 70 miles per hour, it would have probably tore my car in half, um, sending the two parts spiraling God knows where. Um... If there had been traffic also going at 80 miles per hour in the opposite direction when we had skid across those two lanes 
I would have been T-boned and crushed to pieces. And my car could have flipped um, and, like, blown up. Or I could have been driving in the opposite direction and then instead of ending up on an embankment, I had to end up in the ocean, but it didn't happen. And my car has sustained no physical damages. And I'm so fucking confused. That's it. Um, bye.